Morning and welcome to a cold and frosty morning at Wiccan Fen. Oh, it's parky this morning. <laughs> Welcome to a sunrise at Wiccan Fen. Bloody freezing here this morning, <laughs> but lovely to get up on a cold and frosty morning and come into the Fens and visit a National Trust place at Wiccan Fen. As you can see, we've got the wind pump in the background. I've taken a few shots of this iconic image already, um, but I'm looking forward to having a wander around the Fen countryside this morning in the freezing cold. I've got my hat on, I've got my coat on, I've got my new gloves that are absolutely rubbish because they're not warm enough and my hands are cold. And I've got a sunrise coming up behind me, which is gorgeous. So I'm looking forward to wandering around the reed beds of Wick and Fen, breaking the frost with my feet and taking a few pictures. Isn't it glorious? Oh, it's worth getting up for. Apart from the fact it's cold. Ah, so, enjoy Wick and Fen with me. Here we go. is that the founder of the National Trust, a lady called Octavia Hill, was actually born in Wisbech, which is, as I've said to you before in previous vlogs, the heart of the Fens. And uh, this place at Wiccan Fen was the, was the first nature reserve that the National Trust set up back in 1899. Um, the wind pump behind me dates back to um, obviously when it was used to drain the peat from the fens and this area of uh, the fens and particularly Wick and Fen here is still in its original state so this area was never really drained so this is still a peat bog um, and the wind pump was used to drain um, the water from the peat to keep this uh, this bog as it is so uh, it's been restored and now it's used to just pump the water from the drains um, into um, Adventurer's Fen, I think it is, and, uh, and Sedge Fen here behind us. So yes, National Trust's first ever opening here at Wiccan Fen. come over me this morning feeling all creative so I'm trying something a little bit different I don't know how this will come out um, but there's some gorgeous winter light uh, winter light sunlight morning light on the edge of these reeds here um, and it's, uh, it's it's really given a nice glow so see I've chosen really um, wide aperture um, I think I'm about f4 and I've taken a couple of f5.6 just focused in on these reeds behind um, with the sunlight behind it's given a really nice back glow I think it looks all right creative shot and I'll have a look at it and see what I think and you'll see it now if it is any good <laughs> Still 
taking some pictures of this behind me as you can see God, that sun's quite strong in my face now and uh, yeah I think actually it works the um, the tree on the right hand side there is nice because it anchors the right hand side of this composition I've got a um, dike that leads you through the frame to the back another tree in the distance and of course these lovely uh, horses here which are grazing away and they add a little bit of winter character to the scene I think so yeah I've tried a few of uh, this image uh, they look okay and um, yeah I think that it makes a nice winter scene with the horses grazing um, the frost the frozen um, dike uh, and the bare winter trees which is what I wanted to come out to create today was uh, winter in the fen so hopefully some of those come out okay are starting to come in now um, so I think I'll probably call it a day really enjoyed myself this morning it's been lovely to walk around we can fan in the uh, crisp winter frosty morning really nice taken a few images um, they look okay we'll wait and see tonight you'll have seen them by now um, so yeah I hope you enjoyed this little trip around Wick and Fen as I say, it's a National Trust, so very accessible. Um, and actually from a photographer's point of view, it's accessible from dawn till dusk, um, which means you can get here before the crowds and after the crowds and, uh, and get out and explore the, uh, the Fenland. So come on down at Wiccan Fen, great place to be. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, give us a like, um, subscribe, it would be fantastic. Um, a comment would be even more fantastic. I love reading your comments and reply to all of them and hopefully see you on the next vlog. See you soon.